everyone, this is Imran. Today we're going to build this beautiful glass morphism UI. This is a card and uh, there's an SVG illustration in the title and a subtitle. So for this to build you have to import some packages. So let's see what are the packages. So the first one is the uh, Flutter SVG that's because I am using this SVG image and the glass container package itself is going to help to make this beautiful glass morphism design inside our Flutter project. And uh, as per the uh, background and the illustration itself, so there's a folder called images and there's some background image and some graphical illustration so let's get to coding. So as you can see that this is a starter template platter project. So I don't need this. I don't need all of this. So I'm just going to delete all of that. Delete this comment right here. And make this home page. I don't need the title. So let's make a stateless widget. It's going to be called home page. Oh, so for some reason I put a letter. Okay, so this is working and it's going to refresh. And this is uh, this is actually looking pretty much blank that's because I didn't I don't have a scaffold so let's add a scaffold and I don't want this debug moot banner so let's go disable that set to false and it's going to disappear and about the background image you can uh, you uh, there's a lot of way to do that but I'm going to use a stack and there's going to be some children inside the stack I don't need the app bar so I'll not be using the app bar inside the scaffold. So on the first stack, um, stack, stack field children, let's use an image and this is going to be an asset image. And the asset will be images slash bg slash bg1.jpg. This is actually this file over here. Let's add a comma. And this is the image and so as you can see that this image is not covering the whole screen so we're going to define the height and the width so the height would be double dot infinity and the width double dot infinity and fit should be box fit dot cover Command S and C, voila. And if you actually put a text around after the image, let's say hello. Command S. Now it's going to put the text outside the safe area. But let's use an align and the alignment should be center alignment dot center now the text would be in the center position so this is a container and inside the container there is a column so the first child is the image itself and the title and the subtitle so let's wrap this inside a column And this should be main axis, main axis alignment dot center. And now this is in the center position. So let's set the title first. Intro to Flutter. 
and let's set the style. So try to use the default one that comes with Flutter. So so theme dot of context and text theme dot h. Let's use headline five. All right, and there should be another text. This is the subtitle. Make beautiful native app with Flutter. And this should be of style subtitle. And the cross axis alignment should be star to make this align to the content. And we have to use the image. So for the image, we're going to use SVG picture dot asset. Let's add a comma after the SVG picture widget. And the asset is um, images, then graphic, then i1 dot SVG. All right. So this is this file. Let's change to tree. And we have to set the height 180. As you can see, this is actually pre looking pretty good. But let's add some space. This should be 12. And after the title, there should be a 4 pixel. Now let's wrap this inside a glass container. See the height is not defined. We have to define the height itself. So let's set the height. So the content height should be 280 and the content uh, width should be 320. Okay, so this is looking good. Let's add padding of, mm, let's add symmetrical padding. Okay, so this is looking good. And uh, see the color of this um, title and the subtitle. So the focus should be on the title itself, then the subtitle. So let's apply a color, colors.black with opacity. This should be 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. I'm going to use 0 0.5. All right. See this image, it's not in center position in horizontally. Let's add, let's wrap it inside a center widget. So it's going to make itself in center position. I'm going to use i4 or maybe i2 from the preview. Okay, and there are some properties that you can use for the glass container. For example, um, shadow blur radius, the border blur radius. So the border blur, border radius color, if you set the color to red, okay, not red, <laughs> red see these are the border colors so I don't actually want these things I want the default values and if you hover over the mouse on the glass container widget we're, you're going to see that there are some properties for example border radius you can set the border radius of this glass container and the color itself the shadow spread radius Sigma X Sigma Y this is for the shadow and the child itself, which is a column widget. Okay, so thank you. This is the glass morphism video in a Flutter project. If you like this video, then give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe and click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos.